What is up? Can y'all hear me? I have no idea if this shit's fucking working. Hey, hey! What's up, Julie? What's up, Valis? What's up, Daniel? What's up, Chris? How you doing? Everybody having a good Tuesday? I am fucking wiped. You can barely hear me. Ah, oh, fuck. Is it because of the background noise? Do I have to turn my fan off? What's up, Josh? Someone tell me if I have to turn my fan off or if it's just my mic is not fucking working good. Almost finished watching the Rookie Rumble. Yo, there were some good fucking fights there. I have a noise filter over my mic. Chris, we've gone over this. Look, I'll show you. See? That's right there. Uh, now my nipples aren't showing. Look what happens. Um, Julie, I feel like that might be on your end, but just for you, I'll try to turn it up. Just for you, we're gonna do this. Uh, oh, maybe we're not. I thought we were. Properties? No, nope, it won't let me, uh, won't let me up the volume on my, my input. I'm sorry. Uh, bring back the nipples. <laughs> Properties. There's no, what? Okay. 
Chris, you're gonna have to walk me through this later, cause this I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sorry, everybody. I'll try to just talk louder for Julie. This is just this is all for you. Um, I'm waiting on Brandon to get back to me. We're gonna be watching uh, our night fights from the from last weekend. Um, we're not gonna talk about Rookie Rumble. Um, it was a great event, but there's some fucking shit that's still being hashed out, and I don't want to fucking talk on that till I know all the details. So, um, yeah, that kind of hushed my fucking buzz, so, uh, so we're not really gonna do fucking Bohurt news today either, uh, cause, you know, I just, today's just been a lot. Um, I do, so we, I won't talk, ACW Nationals happened. Next week, I'll go over all those results as well. Um, so, we'll go over the Rookie Rumble. We'll go over that. Hopefully, we have some updates on that shit. Um, I do want to shout out to Shoshana, who not only won the Women's Gold Sword and Shield, she won the Men's Gold Sword and Shield, too. So, fucking big shouts to Shoshana Shellen, fucking holding it down so hard in singles. Um, that shit's amazing. Uh, so... So everybody go say congrats to her if you haven't already done it. Um, blow up her Instagram. I don't know what the fuck it is, uh, but it's a thing. You can find it. You guys know how the internet works. Blow up her Facebook. Tell her she's amazing. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's it for news. I'm not going into anything else. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I just got done training. Um my head is a little out of it uh i did three hours of grappling with everyone who is fucking way bigger than me um i'm drinking some beers instead of you know hydrating or having some uh good uh some good like food like protein what's up steven how are you what's up gavin how are you Red Ram, how you doing, everybody? Man, so many new people in here. Look at all this shit. Um, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm wiped. See, everyone, who else trained today? Anybody else trained today? People are always bigger, especially in this sport. Yo, I'm trying to cut for this fight coming up. It's not, I don't know why I'm doing it. Josh trained today. Chris is joining me in poor hydration. Who's drinking right now, too? Pal work. Wait, yeah, what'd you do for pal work? Tell me about this. Is anyone doing the, the, did we talk about the one through six? You throw the one, 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 two, one, three. Anyone doing that? I fucking love that drill. I, I did that for the first time with my new saber. It's so good. Josh, I don't even believe you. You don't even train. You're a casual. You're fucking casual. Daniel out with the long sword, loving it. More long sword, we need to fucking see that. Um, fuck though. I beat Brandon is not coming on. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Um, I don't have my phone. I can't even check what's going on right now. Maybe I'll start without him. Let's watch. Let's watch a different fight. We'll watch. Uh. We're gonna watch the um my favorite possibly my favorite night fight that I've ever seen. We're gonna watch that where Brian and Dustin did you guys watch this fucking fight? Did you guys see this shit? Oh my god, it was so fucking amazing. It's all banged up and we're drinking a beer. Who's drinking beer what beer are you drinking, Daniel? Uh, unconstitutional casual. My weight, I'm 180. Uh, woo! Red Ram's getting the fucking good, good herb gone. Is that shit legal in your state or country? I don't know where you're at. Um, all right. How do I fucking put on YouTube? There we go. Boop. Nope, oh, didn't work. <sighs> One day I will figure out how this fucking thing works. 
Nope, that's not what I want. Properties. Boom. Here we go. Um, maybe make that a little bit smaller. Oh god, I made the wrong thing smaller. Oh, you can't see the chat. I should probably put that in, but I'm not gonna. Sorry, boys and girls. Local Canadian Alpine. Never had that. <laughs> Red Ram, sure. Alright, let's get into this fucking fight. Um, ooh, we don't need that audio. This is, uh, seriously, I think this is the best fucking night fight I've ever watched. Um, possibly the pro fight between Craig and Brett was better. Um, I haven't watched that in a while. Oh no, what's, I don't know, not like, the dual window makes this hard to work with. Alright, let's move me down here, make me smaller, and maybe theater mode this shit. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Boom. Covering the ACS logo. So yeah, gotta stay hydrated, how to scourge your wound. <laughs> Yo. This uh, this fucking weekend, Daniel, was fucking crazy. Everybody fucking... Uh, Seuss Falls fought. ACW fought. Um, oh, yeah, there was a fucking another event. I don't even know what happened there. Um, Ricky Rumble, uh, it's in ridiculous heat. People managed to uh, make it through that whole thing. Uh, hats off to them. I've had to do that. It's fucking... It's rough. It's fucking rough shit. Um... I should make a thing where I can make sure I can see if Brandon... Okay. Oh, God. You're all looking at my my messengers. Don't do it. Unreal poor Chuck. Yo, Chuck is a fucking beast, though. He, he was fine. He was fine. I mean, he wasn't fine. He almost died. But, like, he was fine. <laughs> Josh, you versus Charlie. That, that fight was fucking... You even, you know that fight was <laughs> was nothing, um, but yeah, I think this might be the best uh, pro fight this pro night fight that's happened in America. Um, again, Brett Craig possibly better. Uh, we'll go watch it again. the The pace of this fight is one of the things that's so good, but also um, the back and forth, and particularly the technical uh, aspect. Like Brian isn't usually a technical fighter, and is actually throwing a lot of very good they're like basic but very good basic fundamentals in this and dustin is always doing these crazy tricks and like even as soon as you count him out he drops this crazy thing um that makes you go oh shit he's still in the fight so like it was uh this was a, cr a an amazing fucking fight i was so hyped for it so here we go we're gonna start with uh if they set it off dustin's trying to trying to kind of set range you look brian is very um at this point he's very kind of hesitant he's doing this bop bop every step you can see uh it's sort of it's rocking he's just still constantly moving every step rocks his guard a little bit uh it's almost like a, a really shitty boxer's footwork <laughs> um and dustin is not sort of giving him any respect at all he's trying to fucking push in there it's uh but as we'll see that eventually Brian just kind of, like right there, he's just, he puts the pressure back on. Ugh, that's so good. Just, he never tires. He's just always in there, always moving, always willing to throw strikes. Um, right now it was a little sloppy of an exchange right there. I love that little move where it's not quite a million A, but he slides inside the shield and throws that straight down. Brian fights the same pace the entire time. He does. It's crazy. Brian's like a faster paced mangler. Um, kicks to gain range. Yeah, Brian's Brian's use of the teep is fucking is very good. Um, this is now I can't believe this. So Brian ha has been not at the hall. Uh, for a little while like COVID happened and then he's just been on his own training and he's mostly not training uh for fighting like he'll do some pell work but mostly he's like I'm just doing yoga which also yoga I've been saying this for a while yoga is the fucking secret to this sport because it teaches you how to breathe in funny positions um and I like 
there's so often you're like crunched up and your your uh your Corazina or your Brig, whatever you have, is is compressing your lungs or compressing your diaphragm, and you can't really breathe as well. And if you've been practicing breathing with like your legs over your head and all that squeezed, you'll be a lot better in that position. Um, it also helps you just breathe. I don't know if if you guys have the same problem I do, where like you get fucking uh, all amped up and you can't can't breathe, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bullshit dustin is a yoga guy but dustin doesn't do it like brian does it dustin does yoga once a week or some shit um he's also just a freak athlete but then so is brian all right so brian hasn't been doing uh hasn't been coming to the hall and like dustin has been and dustin's been training we've been training grappling we've been training judo hard um i think this he's going for an Sodagari here which is like this is the what i call the basic bitch throw the bbt um, and like, I don't really like it because as you can see right here, uh, it pushes you off balance when you go for it. So in order to have it, you really have to set, uh, in judo, they call it Kazushi. You really have to get your opponent off balance. Um, but, uh, usually we don't in these fights. We just go for it when we're out of position. So like his hips are kind of in good position, but he hasn't set brian up at all and like while he's still balanced brian is just a fucking he's just a master at keeping his balance because he does aerials he does yoga he does all of this shit and so as you can see justin's overreaching his foot's out of position and brian is very steady shoulders over thighs can you see my mouse is my mouse in this thing yeah i should get the epic pen working um let's see if i can get epic pen up boo doo doo Epic pen. So we get his shoulders, his thighs, and there's his feet. And you can see that's basically in a line. Um, what? It's not showing. Bullshit. Well, I guess Epic Pen didn't work. I tried. I tried to do the dry thing. It's bullshit. Uh. What? You don't want my mug blocking all of the stuff, Chris? How dare you? So anyway, Brian's feet here. You can't see it. You can't see. Oh, there it is. Ah, no. Too far. Now my mouse is here. Um, so you can see this is really the problem. Um, if we go back like half a second, oh, we're going to go to some slow-mo for this. Uh, so we're at 6 6.28. So Dustin, probably what is happening here, Dustin hasn't been in a bad position. He's got this nice underhook. He's really trying to drive Brian. And when Brian gets up, he's like, oh, he's going to be in this bad position. Look, I still have power here. I can go for it. Um, the problem is Brian isn't actually in bad position. He's a little forward here, but that's actually good when fighting against, uh, I want to say, a Goshi? No. A Sotogari? I don't know. The basic bitch throw. Um, yeah, please fill the stein so that I can, I don't know, take my shirt off. <laughs> um, I, I'm so bad at this bit shit. So anyway, like... Yeah, look, so Brian, because he's forward, he's able to apply pressure here. And in order to make this work, Brian needs to be off balance. Um, his shoulders need to be tipped. I believe it is tipped to his left, in this case, to towards this rail over here is where he needs to be tipped so that he can be brought over this leg. That's where his weight needs to be. But because he's driving back forward, he's actually going to be able to put his pressure against this one leg that uh dustin has right so he's going for it when he really can't Th and this is the problem we all do this particularly uh this is particularly a new fighter thing so it's weird that dustin's going for it the dustin is falling for this problem again it's because he thought he had good position um when he wasn't as good as he thought it was and probably because he thought brian hasn't been training uh takedowns i'll be able to pull this off this is usually, a th again, this is usually, see, new fighters go for this. Usually they'll go for it with their foot way back here. 
um, his act, foot position and his hip position are okay. Uh, it's just that the Brian's top position is way better. So he's just able to secure. He's not really getting pushed. And there, uh, this is where it is. Justin can't get his foot back under him as Brian's able to bring him down along uh, across where this is where that, that stable leg would need to be. Um, now, if this were uh, a regular grappling sport, um, Dustin could probably drop his shield and catch himself. Um, but it's not. Uh, so we have to not touch the ground. And as you see, like he's still running out, but he, has, he can't plant himself to push himself up, which sucks because he would be able to probably if we look in the upper top here right see he could probably push and catch um so due to the the problems of our sport that does turn to a takedown it probably didn't need to be but anyway it's just really cool to watch this um you know a higher tier grappler you know he's probably like a seven or an eight on a 10 point scale um grappler he's, he's really up there for american grappling um get taken down by a guy who's just keeping the basics right and that's what we're really going to see is that brian is both uh he's it's his um ability to keep pushing and also it's just his basics are really good he just keeps doing the the basic things right and like that was that he just kept his base and pushed forward uh Dustin went for something a little aggressive when he wasn't in the good position. He didn't have his basics down. Brian does have excellent balance, Josh. He, he's he's got excellent everything. Brian is a freak natural athlete, um, which is part of this. But I mean, not that Dustin isn't though, right? Like Dustin, in case you guys like haven't seen him, is you know fucking cut. He's like six three. Uh, he's got quads that are like the size of both of mine, and like if you've seen my quads. You fucking know. We got dick-nosed rainbow unicorns coming in. I don't know what that's going to do. Um, I would... I, oh, oh, is the mug... Is it Phil? I'll take a drink. I'll take a drink for these dick-nosed unicorns filling it up. <coughs> fucking, where is Brandon? You guys are going to accidentally see some nudes in my messages while I try to make this happen. Um, all right, so here we are, round two. Again, Brian's just still doing this very basic move. And, like, this is that's not g really great footwork, but it's good footwork, right? He's always moving. His guard's placed. This is not, it's not great guard work. It's not great head movement, but it's good movement. He's doing something. He's never not moving. He's never static. He's never out of guard position, right? The shield's never down. The sword's never down. He's never standing in place. He's always in balance. Um, I mean, and, and Dustin doesn't, right? His footwork's pretty decent, right? He's looking to set stuff up. He's doing these little range changes. Brandon abandoned us. He abandoned us. Chris, you're out. You're off. Like, if we're on a team together, you're no longer on that team. I no longer want your help helping me fix this stuff. That's not true. Please help me fix my stream, because I'm terrible at it. God damn it. Josh, how dare you? <laughs> um, well, it's an interesting place to pause. Lead offside. All right, so... The lead offside uh, snap is, it's this is a really difficult technical um, shot. Usually, because usually when we throw our offsides, we get a lot of our power from that return. So when you're throwing a lead offside, because in order to get the, right, the arm extending should be using your right hip, uh, your um, it looks wrong because I have this mirror shit. But the arm that extends when we throw a punch that usually uses the the same hip to get the power, right? So that's my power. 
If I'm doing an offside, I want to be using the other hip to generate the power. So we usually rotate a little bit like that. But the lead offside needs to come out and do the same thing. So you're kind of fighting against yourself. Uh, one of the ways to do it is to sort of hit, throw your hip back. What um, Dustin's doing is kind of the opposite. He took a step forward to make this lead offside work. We're going to... Oh god, I went too far back, I think. Let's go slow. I love that down cut. Even though that one got blocked. I do love his down cuts. They're really good. Right, so he takes this step, and as he's, you know, sort of landing, and his... Oh, Brandon's finally here! Alright. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta do stuff. That needs to go away. Do do do. And all these are fucked up again somehow. I don't know how this keeps getting so fucked up. Ugh. What's up, buddy? What'd you, what'd you fuck up? I fucked up my, my zoom, my, uh, whatever this is called. What are we on? Uh, my Twitch. I fucked up my Twitch. Computer? Yes. I fucked up my entire computer. I downloaded too much porn, and now my computer won't work. That does it. Yeah. I don't know how much porn is too much, but... I heard that that happens. That's what someone told me. Who was it? Who told you that? You, you just now. Oh. Don't you remember? Yeah, you shouldn't listen to me like ever though. You should know better than that. Oh, I guess I we're mean, gonna keep the Iron Lions as our uh as the background of this. That's cool, they're cool. Yeah, we like them. They showed up to Rookie Rumble. It was dope. Um How you doing, buddy? Are you tired? I'm eating a chicken salad sandwich. Oh that was it the chicken salad from this weekend? That was so good. Delicious. Man. They should have brought some of that to practice so I could have had dinner. Damn it. That would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, I am super tired. Yeah. It was hot. Dude, it was so fucking hot. Why did we do that? Why did we go to practice? I don't know. It seems pointless. Yeah, it seems like a bad choice. All right. Uh, do you have uh, Chrome on your? Come on here. Yeah, Chromey, Chromey, Chrome, right there. Okay. Um, I need you to download an extension called uh, YouTube Party. Wait. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And that's going to let us watch the same video at the same time. It's going to be wild. It's going to be fucking wild, man. Fucking wild. This can go over here. This can go here. Did you get that done? Did, did you do it? Did you do the thing? I'm... I'm... I'm uh, no. Do the thing. Right I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on windows to things to happen here. Things are supposed to be happening. What things are happening? Not enough things. Josh, why are you going to bed? What, what do you have to do? Work out in the morning or some shit? Go to your job? You don't need those things. They're overrated. Josh is abandoning us. Unbelievable, Josh. Yeah. I was going to challenge you to so many fights, and now you're gone, and I can't. Yeah. You can do, it. do it. Actually, anyway, you though. should do it right now. I'm still like three oh, okay. fights. Three? Like three in a row? Yeah. Challenge him to like two axe fights, and then after that, challenge him to uh, an actual grappling match, and maybe you'll be able to win the grappling match because you killed him in the axe fights twice. That is true. I mean... That sounds like a better a better idea. Yeah. Don't fight him in the grappling match first. 
Yeah. You were looking good today, dude. Fucking got cat on the fucking uh, foot sweep. That's sick. Yo, I put in so many reps trying to time that foot sweep, and it's finally starting to hook up. Like, got a couple on Mikey on the night fight. Yeah, we're going to watch like, that. We're going to see right. the... <laughs> see yeah, the... but we're only going to rip on ourselves. We're not going to say what we did good. Right. Well, I'll say what you did good. Okay, that works. And you can say what I did good, provided I did anything good. <laughs> I didn't get punched that much. That was pretty good. That is really good. That, that would have been bad punches. Val what am I saying, supposed to be downloading here? YouTube party. Valus is saying, praise Muscle Jesus. I agree. Can we get an amen or something for Muscle Jesus? I don't know how Christianity works. What are we supposed to do for you? I think I think amen works pretty good. What would be the... Uh, the Eucharist for you, for you. Obviously, it's protein for the wine. Mm. But what's the what are the crackers? What is the body of Muscle of Jesus? The blood is protein mm. powder drink, but like fucking steel, baby. Eat this it's steel. steel. <laughs> it's like <laughs> little flakes of fucking steel. <laughs> Yeah, fuck your digestion system. <laughs> Press you, my child. Oh man, that's a good one. Nice. Uh. Oh, oh, fuck. store. I didn't even know this was a thing. What the heck? You didn't fucking. You've never done uh, extensions for Chrome. I thought you were kind I of a tech dude. I actively avoid Chrome. Oh, okay. What do you use? Safari? No, you're yeah. not a Mac guy. No. I uh that other one, Mozilla. Firefox? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's Even cool. though Yeah. Firefox like, It got I don't like learning things and that I already knew that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. That's fucking fair. Ugh. I also hate learning things, but I always seem to change anyway and force myself to learn and then get mad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I have, I have YouTube party. All right, cool. Uh, here we go. Uh, do you have the Twitch open? No. All right. I sent you a link in the Zoom chat. You should click on it. Oh, zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Also, did you notice that, like, our fights are, like, two of the least watched fights? Yeah. Yeah, we're just not popular. We are not. People don't like us. Did you, uh, did you get the link? Did you click on it? For anybody in the chat who wants to try and control what we're watching, there's the link. <laughs> you can do it. Maybe that's what you can do because you filled up the cup. You can force us to watch whatever you want. <laughs> that doesn't seem good. <laughs> Man, you're not in my party yet. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, right? You click the link. Did you click the link? Hold on. <laughs> what? what? Uh, Do you see the link? Right, I'm dumb. No. It, I don't it, even see the chat. Oh, wait, I see chat. Hold on. Alright. All right. Ah, ah, there it is. I clicked it. Cool. I right. still didn't say you're in my party. Something went wrong. We got a little wheels turning here. What's right, happening? Okay. Uh, Do I have to have YouTube open? It should open YouTube. The oh, link should goes. open yep. YouTube. And you there should it goes. Be in a, it should say a thing like, uh, you're in a party. No? Do you see the thing about I being am a party. It does not say you're in my party. No, it just played the video. 
Alright. You downloaded the YouTube Party extension for Chrome? This is this is super uh, engaging for our viewers as they watch me try to walk you through tech support. <laughs> Did you download the thing though? Did yes. You? Okay. Has access to the site. Okay, let's try it again. YouTube. Boom. Mikey versus Brandon. The fuck? I don't know, it just plays the fight. That's so fucking weird. Well, that's annoying. And it's super annoying. Can you, uh, do you have, you, can you, do you see the YouTube party thing in the upper right hand corner? Yes. Can you click it? Uh, oh, here we go. Party. Create a new party, it says. Yeah, can you do that and send me the uh, link? Uh, oh, maybe? Is it happening? Boomski. Boomski. Come on. Wrong thing. Let's go. Do you have a room ID? What? Or do you close your room? I closed mine. Can you just? It should allow you yeah. to just send it to me. I'm on it, like blue bonnet. Can you just send me the link so I can click on it? I'm trying, dude. All right. You're watching I'm Nugget. Valis is watching Nugget porn on his other device, and I don't even know what that means. Like chicken nuggets. Like, is it chicken nuggets having sex? Because if so, I feel like we should abandon this and watch that. Yeah, should I copy the little code that it gave me or copy yeah. the link to the... the... It should give you a little, a little like, generate... So when you say start party, it should give you a thing where you can copy the link. Copy that link. It just copies the the code. It doesn't copy the link. Oh, do we have a different fucking? We have a different at thing. I think. It's crazy. That's the problem. That's the code though. This is called YouTube Party. Let me see if I can join a party based on this. Are there are multiple. Uh. Yeah, there must be multiple Chrome extensions. Cool, that's awesome. I love doing tech support live. This is so good. This is so cool. It's so cool. All right. Uh, this is why I could never run a Twitch channel. I mean, you could. You could just do it better than I do it. <laughs> So I, it's, I clearly don't do well. Brandon, download the thing I just sent to you. <laughs> it's fucking... Somehow, there's still, there's still 10 people watching this bullshit. You guys are wild. I don't understand why you would ever do that, but thank you. Thank you to every single one of you. <laughs> yeah, you need like a prize or something. That's, I mean, we're taking a lot of time off your life right now. Yeah, well, they just fill. Julie just filled up the mug, uh, and I already took my shirt off. So, Brandon, you should probably take your shirt off. Oh, what? I, didn't, I, I, I wasn't informed that that was the thing that was happening. I'm just saying you should. I'm not I saying mean, you, you don't have I'm to. It. I'm you about should, it. You're but... about it. You just should. You know, sex sells or some shit. Oh yeah, here we go, boy. All right. I think we're on it, like blue bonnet now, buddy. All right, sweet. I'm gonna send you a link. Click I already it. clicked on it. I clicked it. What? I already uh, clicked it. I'm not in that party anymore, though. Oh, that's the problem. I'm gonna click the new link. Yeah. Boom. What? 
Ah, B Ross has joined the party. Go! Oh. We finally did it. Hey! Uh, Liz is in the chat. You definitely need to take your shirt off now. We thanks for joining us, guys. That's all we got for tonight. <laughs> um, have a good night. Hope it was enjoyable. Uh, all right, ready? So this is uh, this is you. This is your fight. We're gonna watch you fight. Oh boy! Uh, <laughs> you sound so excited. I'm skipping oh, ahead. Going housing. Is it skipping on yours? Is it is it working? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Looks good. good. Oh, uh, camera angles were pretty cool on this on this fight. Oh, well, yeah. This the whole night. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, they're def we're definitely stepping it up. Look, it's me. That's me trying to fix you. That's it. Uh, you did a great job tying that 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 sun strap on. I appreciate that. Yeah, it'd be good. This is the last good thing I did for you. <laughs> I don't know that any of my advice was useful. Your your advice is useful. I just didn't do anything about it. Yeah, I mean, I feel I like I tried to give you advice as if you were me, which is not good because you're not me and you don't fight like I fight. <laughs> you're like do these things, and I was like. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm very tired. I'm gonna not. <laughs> so are you flicking us off with this fucking bullshit? I can't. You believe you're flicking us off? Is it because Brandon didn't take his shirt off? That's fair. I take it back. That's a it's fair thing. Brandon has robbed us of shirtless muscle Jesus. That's just wrong. At least flex. At least flex for the camera. At least flex for the camera. Am I in the camera? Ooh, there it is. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We Maybe just... we take a long time to start fights. Yeah, right? Oh, here we go. All right. All right, gingerly touch tips. That was nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? What, did Mikey start the fight? That's nev I've Mikey never started... seen that. I've never seen that happen. Yeah. In that five... was my goal is to let let other people do things to me and then <laughs> not doing that. So there, oh, man. there. And he throws me. That was nice. All right, um, my footwork was terrible. I just slid around on the ground for a while. I, I don't know. Then, you you yeah. survived the first throw, right? It's the two throws, right? He gets that one. You survive that. You survive one, that. And then not that two, one. Two. <laughs> then I just I just fell down. Not taking anything away from Mikey on that, but I fell down. <laughs> and then, I'm not gonna take anything away, but like that wasn't him. <laughs> oh, did you just knee him in the balls? Yeah. Oh yeah, directly in the ball sack. That's 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 actually a great how tactic. I on this fight. It's illegal, but very yeah. but very effective. Oh, you guys are just trading knees. That was a hip, so I, I felt better about that one. Was it his hip that used to be broken? He's still sensitive there. If you touch him, maybe. Where he had like the bone removed. So we broke. Oh, even the ref knew that our fight was boring. So he was like, oh, "Don't do that." And then oh, I ran directly Christ. into a face punch. Like, you think you would have learned? Should, I mean, that's. You think you would have learned after cat? That's how you. Nah. <laughs> no, when somebody raises their shield like that, you just thrust your face towards it, and then it makes them feel like they did something. I guess I don't know. Like, ready, ready for it? Face. Oh. Oh man, we're watching. I'm watching this one again. I actually want to see like how I mean, it feels like he. Yeah, so he he set it up. So you took that step, and he's picking you up. That you're about to take this next step. He's a he's a really good counter puncher. You uh, you're a little slight on your block there. <laughs> Just I mean slightly. I was slightly behind. Uh, uh, I mean, is it? Is it technically a counter punch if I didn't do anything? No, but like that's what, he's like, <laughs> like <laughs> he's reacting to your step. Uh, that's what he's picking up on what that it, timing. What it really was is I, you know, I felt like he needed a little bit of an edge, like I was beating him up too bad, and so I was like, here, just punch me in the face. So I think he felt good about that. I mean, you took it like a boss, like you took it like a champ, like you're like, I'll just get back in there. I don't give a fuck. I was hoping for another face punch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's some illegal rail hooking on my end. Only no, no, that was with under. It was with under three seconds. You're fine. Okay. And then my my whole 
strategy here was just stand in the corner for a while, I guess. I mean, you got you have the overhook here, like you're over his uh, neck, so. Yeah, not... and I was actually trying. I was actually trying to get the uh, the leg scoop, and I had it for a second, but. I, my only I'm thought actually, of. My only thought I'm about to rail that also. So. My only thought about this, right? It's like so you're here. I, you got to get, I think, the better position first before you try to get that. Like, I think you got to try to rotate him into the rail a little bit more, right? So as you can see, your your back is on the rail, and if you instead of scooping that leg, if you plant now, it's like right here where you see how you have like pretty dominant position. He's got kind of an over an underhook on your arm, but it's not really up in there. Like he doesn't really have the um, the armpit is just kind of over your arm you could right. probably have rotated him a little bit back so that you both had the rail but like that forces him to not be able to press you into the rail right and then you'd have the rail for support when you're pulling up his leg or you could have pushed him into the rail um <laughs> also uh in the chat they're saying uh if you truly loved us you, you would take off your shirt um and that you are a harsh god, but a shredded god. <laughs> and Julie just after this round, after this round is over, I'll do that. And Julie just dropped uh, puppies into Maybe. the stein. And oh, adds, puppies! Said you can't I'll do it for puppies. puppies. Yeah, I'll do it for puppies. See, someone that knew how to fight might be able to pull that off. So, I think you I pulled that. Don't know how to fight. So. I think you could have pulled that off. I think you could have pulled that off. I think I could have pulled that off on like an eight-year-old, probably. <laughs> like definitely, I think my grappling is like eight-year-old level. So I think I could do that. So if we want to set that up, you know, dude, I would definitely watch that. I would watch you us, fight, us, the, beat the us, shit. <laughs> hit us up and uh, a thumbs up if you want me to fight an eight-year-old for sure. No, like donate, a donate a uh, hundred dollars to PayPal. Uh, Brandon beats up children <laughs> at gmail dot com. <laughs> Also, them. if you supply your own eight-year-old, we'll give you a fifty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! How how old are Chuck Goodwin's kids? I'll fight them. <sighs> Combined, they're over eight. Will you fight them both at the same time? I don't know. That's like if they're anything like Chuck, like two eight-year-old Chucks would be like one grown-up Chuck, and that I don't like to fight that. Yeah, well, I don't think he'll let you fight them one at a time. I think he'll yeah. make you fight them both together. The funny thing is, he would probably actually let me fight them. Oh, he would totally let you fight them. He's a great parent. All right, so I want to ask, what is what exactly was your plan here with you just, like, sauntering into range with your guard down? <laughs> um, Because that basically... Hey, right. your guard came up. Good job. Yeah, that's because I forgot how to fight for a second. I was like, what are we doing? Are we just standing here? And then I was like, oh, no, he's got a sword. <laughs> this is the round you win, though. Ooh. Yeah. I like that stiff little jab in, coming in there. Nice little Yeah, it turns out, trade. like, if you, if you land punches, like, they work better. Yeah. But, how did you like and, fighting with the round shield? Oh, I didn't like it. You don't like the strapped rounds? Not for a knife fight. I really wish I would use my buckler. Yeah, dude, buckler's. Pff, that's where it's at. I think. Ooh, is this it. the? No. Also, yeah, it is. Ooh, it is. that was the. I will the, say what... the far foot. I'm surprised that you got it with this foot, because like his 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 right foot right here is not the foot he's stepping with. He's stepping with his left foot, and usually for a um uh. For a foot sweep, you want to step, get the foot that's about to like land, but instead you got the foot that was already planted as he tried, like as he replanted. You're like, ah, nah, right. you you won't have a base. Sucks to be you. <laughs> also, the the one thing I like about that little exchange is like if you have the audio on, those first two leg shots sound like gunshots. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll try it with the audio. Yeah.
All right. Oop. Mikey, Mikey with the news again. He's really. Oh hey, it's Julie. Really bringing it's Julie the energy tonight. Hey. Uh, Ooh, Jesus. They do. Um, Other than that, I did nothing good the whole fight. I don't know. That was that was sick though. That was a nice little fucking foot sweep. And then I rest because I was tired. I was like, that was too much. I'm done. <laughs> I mean, I think you won that that whole exchange from the punch from everything. Like, uh, even though like your your hooks with that are kind of getting ca caught in his guard. Yeah. They still like kind of land because it's. Oh, people are saying you need to bless us, Lord. They drop. Someone dropped corgis. Oh yeah, I forgot. Woo! Woo! Maybe it's getting hot in here. That's good. It was hot in here anyway. <laughs> Man, you let him knee you a lot without kneeing him back as much. What? Why didn't you, your knees were seemed like they were effective, but you didn't seem to want to throw them in this clinch. Well, here's the thing: is like my legs were real heavy with like armor and stuff. <laughs> and like, you know what? That seems like a lot of work. I want to do that. Uh, I'm just gonna punch him in the face. Yeah, nope, that, in the gut. Nope, that, in the face. That short, that short punch seemed to work though. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was nice. This is the thing I was just talking about before you came on. Go, someone over committing for a throw. And then just having better balance, right? Like you can see how braced he is. is a is a little wide, but like that works because that gives you stability, and he's got the rail to back him up here. And Mikey is just like, I'm just gonna force it. Pushes his foot way too far out. Looks like he's going for the uchimata, which I don't have a cool other name for, but uchimata sounds cool anyway, so that's fine. But he's got the underhook, and he's trying to uh, lift his foot up, but also because there's the rail, there's really nowhere to go. And Brandon's going to be secure anyway. And Brandon just fucking powers through it. His leg comes up. He's like, I don't care. I'm, I'm based. And he's able to fucking force him down. That's nice. That's nice. Like that. Julie likes titties out Tuesdays. I like titties out trash Tuesdays too. Everyone should take their titties out. <laughs> and that's the round. That's right. You definitely, you fucking stomped that one though. Right, so like he, I think he. I heard, I heard that Mikey let me win that one though, so that I wouldn't feel so bad about losing to him. <laughs> I think Mikey beat you convincingly in the first, but I think you stomped that. Like I might have called that a ten eight, watching that back. With with two throws, maybe yeah, but with two throws, you were dominant in all the in all of the grappling positioning, and you seemed most dominant in the clinching and the striking. He landed a few things, but not many. It's probably a 10-9, but, like, I could see a 10-8. And then I don't think you win anything for it. I think you tie one of these, though. Uh, I meant to get the judges sheet so we could look at them, but I didn't. Yeah. All right, so, like, this, I hate this. You're both in range, and neither of you is moving or throwing. Are we in range? I don't think we're in range. You're definitely in range. Well, in you're, Mikey's in range. You're in I'm Mikey's not. range. I was going to say, you're in Mikey's <laughs> range. <laughs> Okay, I felt bad about the last round, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to stand in range for him so you can hit me um, and not be in range. Yeah. Ooh. Right there. Kick the sword. That's what, what you do. That's how you get your foot broken. Yeah. What were you? What is this, though? Like, what are you trying to do here? Why are you even bringing oh. your foot up? What do you? That's how you block swords, right? With your leg. No. When somebody's you... swinging at your leg, you put your leg in front of the sword <laughs> so that they uh, yeah. make sure they hit it really good. You're you're fucking also like you're so awkward trying to land this shot afterwards because it looks like you're trying for that offside you go for but your foot's planted in the wrong spot. <laughs> so you're like, ah, I can't really get my body around on it. Uh, and then eat punches. And then eat punches. Yeah. And then, and then Mike really... gets, I think, a throw right here. Yeah. Yeah, it gets a great, great oh, throw. Look at that. My foot's over the rail. God. That doesn't happen to normal people. Oh, yeah. What does he do? He just gets a. He's got a good hook around your head. He gets his hips. His hips are over yours, but he's got. He's yeah. bro He's broken your what posture, really, and he's in good. What? But what really, really gets that is he 
pushes me into the rail. Yeah. And I basically have to, my whole body has to rotate around his leg. I have nowhere to go. I can't right. step out or anything. He's got yeah. me smashed in there. Yeah. You got to hump out of this, I think. I think the, the way out is you hump his hips. Right. Right about, like, I'm going back. Like, right, right here, I think you just need to hump out. Right. So he can't base in. Right. See, he's. He he's dominating. He's power bottoming you right here. You need to hump his ass out of the way and say he's rubbing his ass deep into you. Yeah. And so he and then, so he fucks you. You need to fuck him. He fucked you. Oh, I get it now. And then my legs are like sticking out the list. <laughs> and then watch me. I, at some point, I just run in and for another face punch just because I yeah. like it. I think that's in the you next know. round. Okay. Oh, you're so fucking tired. You can't even do the window windshield wipe low. <laughs> Ooh, nice block on that knee, though. How tired were you? Like, were you really this tired? Because you're not active at all right now. No, I was dead. Yeah. 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 I, I, my, yeah. We got to get you a, a dueling kit. Yeah, that, that kit's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> And, like, I don't think you can make your cardio that much better and keep the size you're at. No. Nah. Which, like, I mean, if you were to want to go to pro fights, I'd say lose size. But considering you're mostly on melee, I don't think you should try to lose size. Also, like, look at look at when you flex. You can't lose size. You wouldn't be muscle Jesus anymore. You'd just right. be Jesus. Can't do that. <laughs> can't do yeah. that. Can't be that. That's lame. Only get bigger. You know, just being a regular savior. That's dumb. <laughs> Be a muscle savior. <laughs> but I am I am going to experiment with it a little bit because I am going to cut. I, I don't know if that Night Fight in Vegas is still happening or not. Probably not. But yeah, it sounds I'm like that. I'm going to act like it is. So I'm so, going to get down to 187 and see how I feel fighting it that way. With it? With it, with me, pretty sure that it's not happening. I want to run my own event instead. Um, like I'm gonna see if I can rent out the hall um, from Jake. So like I want to run it. So I'd be like, hey Jake, can I like actually pay you so that I'm in charge? Um, <laughs> and like what I so what I'm thinking of doing. I'm gonna pause this real quick. Um, now yeah. we, we can walk and shoot there. We can walk while I talk. So what I'm thinking about doing is. Uh, it's just a regular 16-man tournament, but it's night fights. Single a limb, and if there's a weight differential, um, it will be the... So, like, if you have a... Uh, if, like, if you and I fought, right, you're a weight class above me, so for round one, you would lose a point for round one. Right. And for round... Ooh, let's look at that throw. The low kick didn't work, but that second low kick worked! Ooh. Yeah, he was able to kick my front leg just over in front of my other one. But that roll, but that was, that roll was dope. yeah. The, so this whole this whole exchange is fucking dope. This is, I think, this is probably the last round. Because I remember telling you, like, you need to pour it all out. Um, all right, so he gets you. You roll, and just you're immediately back up and fucking into it. And he's like, "What?" <laughs> And you just tapped his fucking foot, and he went over on that. That's so. That's that's slick. the funny thing about like those little leg sweeps. Like, if you time it right, it doesn't. Ha it's like no power. It's just like it looks yeah. like. Eh. Yeah. Just, eh. <laughs> yeah, and that's and that's all timing. Like he doesn't even look like you're forcing that up top. Um, oh, that was so nice. Um, that exchange right there. That right there was like so hype. It was. One of the best exchanges of the fucking night right there. Um, so what I'm saying though, and like, so you would get a point off of the first round. And then like, if I if you fight Cat, because he's two weight classes above you, he'd have a point off for the first round and a point off for the second round. And the second round, yeah. Yeah, and so like for each weight class over, you lose a point, you lose a point up to five points, right? So one point per round up to five rounds. Um... So I think that would be pretty cool, and that would allow us to like have sixteen men of whatever fucking weight class just in there. Um, 
Man, you are so fucking dead. Oh yeah, I was super dead here. <laughs> Way to hold on to him though. You're like, no, we're going down together. <laughs> That's my only defense. We got. I gotta teach you how to roll them when they come down though, so you land on top position. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, that was the last I, round, I think. Yeah. I thought I'd like, I hope, really missed I, round. I hope he was as tired as I was, but he was not. I don't think he was. He was not. Well, also, he's fucking half your age, dude. I keep uh, forgetting I'm, how young. I'm Mikey not using is. that as an excuse, though. I don't think you should. I'm just saying, like, that's why he's he was tired. Like, you can see it, right? Like, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> um, and also, he's I think better at conserving energy. Um, yeah, than, he, than you or I. <laughs> like, he's really good at it. Um. Because he's fucking lazy and doesn't like fighting. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I mean, like, I feel like as, like, uh, animals that have evolved for millions of years, like, we're, like we don't like to do work because it expends energy. And, like, nah, that's gross. We don't want to do that. Yeah, no. Fuck that shit. Yeah. All right. So there's, I think, a way where I can... I was like, shocked at this point. I was totally shocked and appalled. They call it for Mikey. Yeah. I did file an appeal with the uh, You had all five rounds. All five rounds and at least... You I'm, are the commission. <laughs> I'm still waiting to hear back so far. From yourself? I've been denied. I've been denied. <laughs> you denied yourself? Yeah. Um, there's a way to, like, switch this to another uh, video, but I don't know how to do it. So I'm just going to start a new party. Word. More parties. We got like multiple parties. So many parties. I'm sending you a link now. I know how to do this now. I understand. Yeah, you understand technology. Oh man, we're down yeah. to eight. How is it that we got into the fucking content and we lost two viewers? <laughs> because uh, it's we're more interesting. Talking about text. trying to figure out tech stuff. <laughs> we are about talking about fighting, fighting. Apparently. Yeah, I mean, this it checks out. Our fights were apparently the most boring fights. No one, <laughs> no one wanted to watch this shit. Um, all right, but yeah, that's also, like also I just didn't share my videos of my fights because like I'm like, yeah, it's me losing. I don't, that sucks. I have nowhere to share it anymore. I'm not on. Not yet. happy about that. <laughs> I'm not on uh, any sort of Facebooky thing. I guess I could share an Instagram, dude, but that sounds like a great life to live, dude. It's so it's better, but it's also worse because like I have no idea what the fuck is going on, and like I can't, yeah. I can't advertise this, which like I'm like, oh, man, if I'm gonna keep doing this, I should probably like put an effort into like doing it well. <laughs> But I'm clearly not doing that. <laughs> mm. All right. So, yeah, this is me. All right. So, yeah, what do you think about that, though? About that tournament? 16 man, multi weight class. I like that. W would it be like a, a random bracket? Yeah. Random brackets. Random, yeah. Random brackets. I'm thinking single a limb. I was trying to think about double a limb, but I think. If we double a limb one list, it's like six hours, uh, but it's like three hours if it's single a limb and with one list. And I like I think doing one list is better, though that still might be too long of an event. I think that's yeah. like how how many round fights are you doing? I would just do it the same way we have it now. It's, yeah. five, it's five rounds unless you can get a TKO or a KO. But like I feel like we'll get more. KOs in, or like people just quitting in, later in the night like I doubt there's that many people who are actually going to be able to do yeah because like, I definitely didn't want to do this again right and like <laughs> you'll get maybe you know <laughs> between your first fight and your second fight you'll probably get 45 minutes to an hour break but between your second fight and your third fight it's probably like a 10-15 minute break and between yeah, your third and your fourth, we said that's tough. I think there's four, right? So if it's sixteen, if it's a sixteen, it's goes from sixteens to eights. So that's one, two to four, which is quarters, and then 
two, which is finals. Right. I think. I think. I think you're right. I think it's four fights. I think you're right. So like between Fortnite your fights though. Oh, yeah, God. exactly. Between your second and your oh. third, between your second and your third, it would be like you know fifteen thirty minutes. And between your third and your fourth, it's we'll give an extra time for the t- the person who just fought, but you know max twenty minutes. Well, you know what? I'm I'm good. I'm actually now that I'm thinking about it, I'm I'm actually kind of okay with that because even in our most brutal night fights or not uh chapter matches where like i iron man like that 10 minute break is like you can get back a lot i get i go from i'm done i'm never doing this again and i'm dying to like all right i want to beat somebody's ass now i would probably do one minute rounds also i'd probably do one minute rounds too yeah What's up? that would be that'd be killer what's up hawkeye battle of the gas tanks hawkeye. you are right yeah I think we got a new viewer, so I'm actually saying his name. They told me you're supposed to say people's names on chat. I'm also supposed to, like, thank people for things. So thank you, everybody. Yeah, you got to throw out that recognition, right? Yeah. But it has to be, like, personal. Like, I'm not actually watching the Twitch feed, so I don't see the chat. But thank you to the people. Gavin's in there. He just sent us a... I don't... I think this is a personalized fucking emote. Gavin's got a personalized emote? What is this bullshit? Gavin's awesome. Gavin, how do I get your personalized emote? I can subscribe to you. Do you have a fucking channel? Gavin, what do you stream? Everyone should go follow Gavin. Subscribe to his channel. It's probably better than mine. (laughs) Is there any fighter who's never said, I'm done, why do I do this? I'm never fighting again. I hope not. If there's a fighter who's ever done that, kill them. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Nah, I was gonna say like maybe my first like real fight, but like yeah, like I've done I think, it. Like, my first, I think my first real fight was like a chapter match. So, <laughs> no, nah, this is dumb. Yeah, I've definitely done it before. Like, I think I fe- no Durani. Oh no, what? My is everything frozen and dead? I'm back. Cool, is everything frozen? The modes are easy, dude. You just upload a tiny PNG. I don't know how to make a PNG. Gavin, can you be my arts man? Can I give you money to do arts for me? Gavin, please. I don't know how to do arts. Gavin um, is the arts man. Do have you seen his art? His fucking art's amazing. Yeah, it's dope. Um, anyway, yeah, Durante has, uh, definitely said, why do I do this many times? I, l- I talk about, uh, a, one of the fights that, uh, Brandon, when you were still coaching the Nightmares and Brian and I fought for you and we lost like the first two sets. So we were like down like either five, one or six, nothing. And then we started to come back. Do you remember oh. this one? And like oh, oh, it was like yes. four sets later, and it was like six six or seven seven, and like you and I are like, we could just lose, we could just lose. Right. And Brian is saying the same thing, but he's saying it with a smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> and like somehow that like made me really like, I guess we can fight more. Yeah, that was against the Dark Knights, and like, yeah, we were getting wrecked. Yeah, and then somehow yeah the tables turned and then it was like do i do i really want to fight that much more no <laughs> like, like I, I... we have another like five points to get i don't feel like doing that <laughs> we won that one right uh, yeah 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 that was yeah that was an awesome fight that was like fucking looking weird. back at it i'm like yeah that was super cool like, <laughs> at the time i was like this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Yeah, I think at the end, I think we had more people to start, but I think at the end it was you, me, Brian, and Ken, and Ken like was barely able to fight. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all right, let's watch me get my ass kicked. We watched you get your ass kicked. Now it's my turn. At least you got a really awesome corner man. Uh, mm-hmm. I will say that. Look how handsome he is. Pretty dope. Yeah. His hair is all neat and like handled unlike your corner man your corner man just looked wild like you found wild, him on the like street a, yeah no, i did <laughs> oh man my footwork is bad at least i do it but it's bad 
I'm like, yeah, you're, you're like, I'm you're cro- in a straight line. And then, like, I'm crossing my feet constantly. <laughs> I'm active, though. I look fast, man. What is this shit? You, do, you, you actually did look fast in this. I was not surprised, but, like... I am. I think... that really super crappily weighted, like, mm-hmm. uh, uh, whatever that thing is. Saber. Uh, saber. Yeah, you were snapping it out real quick, and I was like, that's pretty impressive, actually. And actually coming back with the returns. I mean, you totally missed that one, but... Like, yeah. it actually flows pretty well on the... <laughs> what was that ridiculous Superman punch? Uh, no, nah, dude, those those punches were dope. And I was like, this is why, like, I was like, I should have gone with the buckler. Yeah, it dude. was like, you throw the shot, it would... S- and then you'd sneak in, in between the shield and the sword of Cat to get that face punch. And, like, yeah. and you'd be landing it. Yeah, that face punch landed a lot. I think in a pro fight, I actually might win this because I think I scored more points. I think I landed more blows because I threw a lot of those punches. But he, yeah, I, he threw I, more sword strikes, and some of them were very good. <laughs> yeah, some of them were really He and, doesn't he, he also throw dominates light the shots. What? No. He doesn't throw light shots. No. That, you... I think you I won sneak, that round. Go back a little bit. Yeah. You sneaked out of that that shield punch. Oh yeah. Like that might have put you on your ass. It definitely would have put you on your ass. Yeah. But because you were moving the same direction as it. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. He had he finds his timing later, kind of. Um, but like at the moment, he hasn't really figured out what like how to hit me because I'm I that. My whole point this time was like, I don't want to get punched. I don't want to get punched. I'm only supposed to be making fun of myself. Fuck. Yeah, what's wrong with you? I don't. I was just. I was honestly impressed. The last time I watched this fight, I was super mad because like, I thought Cat just smoked me, and I think he does. But like that time, I was like, oh wait, I actually looked the kind of okay in there. My helmet doesn't look okay. Who fucking tapes their aventail on? Who fucking does that? <laughs> oh, we're down to seven viewers. What is this? No one loves us. Everyone hates us. Nobody loves me. Everybody hates me. Alright. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Round two, the annihilation of Ringo. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I do as well this time. Trying to keep that buckler up was super hard. I mean, it looked like he blocked that one, but they probably counted it because it also looked like it might have hit the arm. <laughs> also, it made a really nice noise. So. <laughs> yeah, that one landed. Your punch. Yeah, your punch missed. His strikes landed. Yeah, and I just threw directly into his shield. Oh, that was the one. Dude, that, yeah, rock, that, that rocked me so bad. <laughs> I I do not walk out of this. I'm like, yeah, I'm safe. I don't have to. Oh, okay. I'm not safe. But then you, you I mean, you come back with like, I mean, you, you might have been blacked out at the time, but you, <laughs> you came back with like two face punches to return. Uh, you definitely lost more brain cells. But. Yeah, I... Uh, that one didn't hurt as bad, but it still isn't good. This is why my fucking knees fucked up. Right there. Like, so strike, those yeah. last three land on bare flesh. <laughs> you're, just, you're just like, bop, bop, bop. <laughs> right onto the... The thing is, it, those strikes are coming in fast, and he's got a heavy hand, so... Yeah. He just landed another just... Under- even, if it doesn't, even if it doesn't look like it from that shot... Those things are coming in hard. And then here, I'm just telling you, just hang on to his head because the round's almost over. Yeah. I'm like, just don't go down. Uh, I'm about to black out. Like, right here, I'm... Uh, oh, Was hey. he choking you out? He, uh, I, he, he didn't mean to. Yeah. You can see my uh, the brand of my underwear. That's not allowed nice. in H&B. That, that would what? be... I'd have been kicked out. Because you can see my, my, the, the, my underwear was modern. 
Yeah, that's not cool, dude. Yeah, it's super not cool. I don't know what's wrong with me. I like why don't just I don't just... wear underwear? True. Or braids. Why don't I just sew my own braids by hand? Like every God. other human. Yeah. Isn't that what you do? It's very simple. It's very important that your underwear look, period. People don't like look <laughs> it's well known that people don't like looking at uh clinging material on butts people hate yeah butts that are that. they don't want to see it. they want nice poofy wow. things that don't show the shape of an ass right yeah if it's encased in spandex that's no good that's no good nobody, no nobody, one nobody ever wants that no one would want to see that like a like a sausage casing this is where you're lying to me telling me that i'm winning uh it's because i only remember the first round <laughs> i was still stuck on that i was like yeah that was so good. I mean, we've got to still be winning, right? <laughs> you're like, you're winning this fight. You're throwing so many punches and, and strikes. You're beating him everywhere. Uh, I don't think I said that. That's probably true. You did say something along the lines of like, you're 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 beating him with strikes. Yeah, um, I did say that punches. because I thought you were. But uh, watching back, I, I, I don't think I was. <laughs> probably not on that round. Again, I was still high on the first round. So. Yeah, that first round wasn't terrible. <laughs> that last round oh. that was not too good I'd like to I'm actually gonna go back and watch this fight I think and just like count the strikes and stuff and then like score it WMCF yeah, style fair. and score it with our score just to see that's a good idea we should do that for all of them yeah it'd be interesting to see it's a lot of I don't work. know why Cat reacted so big to that that was funny um I do so Cat uh Cat when he's like paused here like he does this thing where he where he when he's frozen he's just like sitting there waiting to counter punch and if you get him off of uh as soon as you move in he kind of does like this stuttery step like with all his whole body um right. so like as soon as i move he's like ah and like internally he's stuttering because he can't actually like he can't actually. He's not actually um, counter punching. Like he's not actually able to like process that in time. It's very weird. Like watch so, it. So basically, he's he's hanging his head out there with his guard down, expecting the headshot, right? Yeah. And so as and, soon as you move, he comes up with his guard yeah. and is expecting you to be closer, probably. Yeah. And he's and then like and like his whole body is gonna like do this weird. Ah. As he re tries to readjust, and that he does yeah. that constantly. If he's not pressing forward, like you can get him to bait on a lot of things. Well, but he landed that nice combo on you. Yeah, I'm being very defensive, and it's not working. <laughs> it's landing a lot. Not, not the plan. I mean, it was my plan of not getting punched. I mean, that's fair. It was not my corner man's plan, who is probably probably should have listened to. You know, you know what? It, having a quarter man is like better than no quarter man because they're not fighting and getting really tired and punched in the face. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I throw oh, yeah. Yeah. two directly into his shield, and he throws one directly into my face. It's uh, it's not ideal. Yeah, and then you go back to the one shot. Oh, and then you got one punch in there. Yeah, and then get stuffed. Yeah. I think I'm actually landing some stuff in here, but it's really hard to see. Like, I remember landing a bunch of, like, in tight punches, like, with a bow sword and buckler, but... So that that round ended the same as last oh. one, where he had you in the corner, and I'm just yelling you to hang on his head. <laughs> he, he doesn't get the throw before the end of the round. I thought you were telling me to escape, and I was like, I'm just trying to survive. Maybe that's later. At some point, yeah. you're like escape and i'm like i would love to <laughs> <laughs> yeah i definitely was telling you to escape at one point but um at the i knew the end of the round was coming so i'm like just hang on him you know Ooh, so you don't go down we're up to but, 10 uh, viewers we got a new viewer hello new viewer Ooh, yeah also, flex. flex for the new viewer new viewer out oh, cramp out oh. <laughs> no um Wait, you so, and brandon need to have uh, you and brandon you and uh dustin need to have a fucking flex off Ah, oh, no, he'd win that. Would he? I don't think he's as cut as he, you are. Like, he, he's like, did bigger. bodybuilding and stuff. Yeah, so, but like, not anymore. You know, he he, he doesn't... like, knows the flexes, right? Oh, that's true. 
Maybe if I learn some flexes. Dude, yeah. this right here, by the way, fucking the hand massage you were giving, like, I was cramping so bad, and, like, that relieved all of it. That's such a fucking, like... I was actually going to ask you that, because, like, oh. my hand cramped up real bad, and I was, like, in my fight, and I was, like, you said yours was doing the same thing. I was, like, I don't know. Let's try this. It worked so good. Good to know. All right, that's something to tell you. Oh, there's an unanswered shot to the yeah, face right completely. there. completely. Well, I think I landed an unanswered shot, but then he no, and no a he punch was and answered. He grabs you. Yeah, I landed a shot, and then it was answered. It was not an unanswered. Shot. Yeah, and now he's. This just, is where I was telling you to get out. I think. Yeah, and and you're like, I'd like to. I would. I would love to. I would love to. I don't know why he broke us up. That was a very active clinch. Yeah, he was into breaking stuff up that was stuck in the corner, but. Okay. Oh, another unanswered shot. Yeah, yeah. There you yeah. Go. See, that was a shield. Uh, sh you hit the shield, and then you punch directly to their face. Yeah. Which I like, but unfortunately, it's not as good as just a sword strike in this. So. Yeah. And you're throwing some punches down low. Yeah, I'm trying to land some stuff. Getting smushed. And then he gets this throw off. I don't even remember how he gets this. He just walks me out. He just walks me out like a little yeah. bitch. Well, your feet get kind of tangled in the same same way Mikey got that super clean throw where my feet were like over the rail. Yeah. Because he smushes you into the rail and doesn't give your feet anywhere to go. Yeah. So then he just walks forward and you normally you would step out further, but your yeah. foot your right foot keeps hitting that bottom rail. Yeah. I also think that, like, whatever counterbalance I was trying to do right here where my foot comes up is probably not good because, like, when I rebalance it, I'm, like, running into a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I need, well, I need, to, find, I need to find a way out of that. You were right. Yeah. I needed to escape. You were right. I, why didn't I just listen to my corner, man? I well, I mean, I probably really need, thing I need to dab out here or, the, like, yeah. I've taught people or hump him. There. Right there. In this area... Before he starts to move your yeah. where you need to get out. I need to get I think I need to get out here. Instead of trying to land blows, I need to leave. There you could have gotten out. Yeah. That was the problem. Is that I was trying I was trying too hard to land blows and he accepted it and looked for the better position and he got it. Also like the best thing to do if you're like off balance is to like remove one of the points of contact from the ground. Right? No? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I mean, actually, sometimes, yes. <laughs> oh, that's why I punched him right in the throat. Yeah, play that little exchange again. I like that. This one, I, I, like, got me super hyped, is those that punch right there where you just... You just, like, get in there? You just, I, yeah, you just, like, jammed it in there. Yeah, you know, so I did. Cool. Into right his in throat. throat. <laughs> 100% illegal shot. Yeah. It makes, I mean, that makes it cool in my book. Yeah. <laughs> I, I apologize to him and he had the same reaction that he had when you fucking uh, hit him in the fucking chamber. He's like, it's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah, when I put a hole in his shin. Yep. Is that finally healed, do you think? It's still a lump there. That was like three years ago. Nah, it was like two years ago. I don't know. Time. I think that was the, our last time fighting H and B, and hopefully our actual last time fighting H and B. <laughs> Wait, maybe not true. They, did you see the fucking thing where they have the tabletop rails now? Yeah, so weird. Like I'm so I mean so into now, that. Now people can like set drinks on them and stuff. I mean it's great yeah, for that. It's true. And you can't hook them. And you can sub under them. I'm in for subs, I'm in for people not hooking, I'm in for drinks. All of this is good. I mean, for Subway, actually, talking about Subway. subs. I can go over to Subway sandwich right now. <laughs> Chicken bacon ranch. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. that changes a lot of the meta of it. Like, mm -hmm. HMB uses, I think, right? Mm -hmm. so, it makes it more of our shit. Yeah, it's almost like we figured it out and was like, hey, this is better. And they were like, nah, fuck you. And then we're like, Nah, we got bigger rails now, son. Yeah. Ooh, that was a nice block by Cat on this punch. Just like, nope, get out of here. 
Yeah, and that's what he was saying. He was saying that tonight, like when yeah when he sees it coming, like he just basically punches in that direction of the punch. Yeah, and it follows the punch. Yeah, like, I I think that's the way to does do it. it. With his, yeah, he normally does it with his shield. I don't think it's I don't that, I think it's a better matter. I think it's a better sword block. I think trying to block that with your shield is actually harder because um, you're coming across and like you could catch it, but then like. I might come inside of it, right? Yeah. So, like, but if you catch me on this side, you're pushing in the same direction as me, and I'm going to go that way. If you catch here, yeah. it's in the opposite direction, and I might slide in. So. That's why I think the yeah. shield punch, it, the sword is, in fact, the actual. I'm just kind of ho hopping. With, yeah. with, oh, God, what happened? It also, he just he just does the freaking lawnmower there. And yeah. just like lands, just, like fucking just opens up on many me. Many shots. Yeah. Like he's like, uh, and chop your one, leg, two, chop your leg, chop your leg, chop your leg. I don't like four. I don't understand <laughs> why this is my reaction. I'm just gonna hop, like hop, hop. Yeah, jump, hop, jump, hop, jump, jump, jump. jump. <laughs> yeah, you thought he wanted to dance, and so you were like, yeah, let's jump around. Dance. And then I tried to do the and same thing to the legs, but my sword is too long. <laughs> I can't. And now I'm just stuck in the corner. We've been here before. We've been we, here. We have been here. It's not good. I think you're telling me to leave again, and I finally do. Oh, you almost died! I would have come back in three days. It been Woo! I actually got a block! Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to talk about that. What did Cat do? I didn't do anything hey. with the block, though. Like, look at, look at that. There's, you, no, there's nothing on you, this. You got the block, and you got a couple shots. And, and then, then I walked you, right into Cad's fucking crowd. And then you sacrificed your head. Yeah. He, he literally walks you over to the crowd, like, specifically to humiliate you. Yeah. And I think this is where you're like, you need to fucking score again. And I'm like, and you're no. like, nah, bro, I'm good. No, I'm tired. I feel like that's... Now you're, we reversed now, it. Now you're, you're using my tactic of, nah, I'm just going to stand here. But then you actually do something. The thing is, get caught by Cad? Is that the thing I did? Get it under the shield, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Well, go back, to where, go back to where you got the headlock on you. And let's watch him humiliate you. <laughs> he, so, here we go. Here's the one block. You did one good thing. And then you got another punch. Oh, you did two good things. And then, and then he's just like, and he's like, like you, he's take like, this. You know what? There's not enough people to see this over here. I'll <laughs> over here where all these people can see and humiliate him. <laughs> I was gonna walk him down, and then the ref steps in, like a punk. Yeah. Screw you, Curtis. <laughs> you didn't, we didn't get the full humiliation. And then I just stand here, like. Right. And then you're like, you know what? I need to be humiliated. Have my head again. <laughs> take it. Just take it right here. Just have hit it. me. I want and you then, to have it. Yeah. Just and then just like pull me down. <laughs> yeah. I. uh I that yeah, was not good. <laughs> I, that was not good. It was not a great fight. I felt like I did so much better till I watched this back. <laughs> Partially because my corner man still so kept telling me I was doing so good. You kept me hype, I mean, that's man. My job, right? I that's was gonna say job. you kept me fucking hype. I'm gonna do that from now on. I'm just gonna tell my fighters they're fucking they're killing it because I was so hype the whole time. That I, I mean I'm about it. Like yeah, I'm just lie to your like, fighter. I'd like I was, but the thing is, I was super hype, probably off that first round, and so I was like, yeah, you're killing it. Yeah, you're still killing you're it. You're still killing. All even... remembers that first round. You're fucking killing it, bro. So. Jay, is that because like you had a little memory uh, issue after eating all those punches? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, I blame Cat for that. Ooh, that's fair, dude. <laughs> we gotta. I think I want to make a gif of that of you getting hit. <laughs> Sorry, oh, but that, like that one night fight where I got. Yeah, I think I you... made a gif. I think I made a gif of that Have of you? myself. Oh, yeah. that's so good. We yeah. gotta use that for stuff. It's oh, it's so good. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> yeah. I just lean right into it, and then you just. If that rail wasn't there to save me, I would have been on my ass for sure. Oh man! All right. But it's the same thing. Like when Cat caught you with that really good face punch, 
you just popped back up and started throwing stuff, right? Yeah. Same thing with, when I did that. Like, he punched me in the face. I staggered back, hit the yeah. rail, almost fell down. You're and back in it back right up. after. It was, yeah. like, bouncing around. I was like, yeah, because, like, my brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where is, where is that punch? I wish, like, these had, like, would tell you, like, where which round is what, like, where in. So I could find stuff easier. Oh, uh, that would be a good. That'd be a good thing to add. Yeah. To the uh, to the stream doohickeys up here. Chris, can you do that? This is you, right? You put these out. Yeah, he said noted. It's a thing he can do. Cool. That'd be that's super cool. It's super cool for the like just review purposes, but I really like the the way this stream came out. Yeah. Yo, yes. It's the stream dope. the stream was dope. I I personally love the breaking up each fight into an individual YouTube video. Um that what I would like to see honestly though, I want us to fucking uh put it on Twitch day of, take it off Twitch immediately and then release these one fight at a time and we can hype them on the ACS page. And like I think that's how every Every ACS event should be done. Every ACS event should stream it and then immediately take the stream down and then be like, hey, in two days, we're going to be releasing this fight. Oh, you didn't see it? Maybe you should subscribe to our Twitch. Yeah, but then I can't watch my fights when I get home. Yeah, it's true. You can't. It sucks I don't to like you. This. No, screw this. Maybe we can uh, have like a thing where fighters get early access or something. That'd be cool. Or I could just bitch about it a lot. Yeah, I just I this is how uh, rap battles do it, um, and they like it's a bunch of people saying man poems to each other that have and people get paid <laughs> close to millions of dollars a year. Like, like I mean, you'll make like forty grand to go and say three minutes of rhyming shit. Uh, I don't care what it is. If it's, like, successful, we should yeah. steal from it. That's what I'm like, saying. 100%. Like, 100%. Dude, I wrote out a whole thing of how we could steal from three different uh, business models back when we were the ACL, and I sent it to Andre. Like, here's three successful uh, uh, business models that have made it through, like, organic growth of uh, fan-based online media. And, of course, none of it happened. But now we're actually doing it, though I don't know if anyone has my business models that I wrote down that we could steal. Um, but we're doing it. Like this is it. We're doing it. So like, good job, us. And by good us, job. I mean Chris mostly. I think. <laughs> premium like, subscription, Julie. I don't know. Sure, sounds good. I like premiums. Yeah. What's premium about it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's I like better. Like more like shirtless dudes. More shirtless dudes is dope. Yeah, I mean, possibly yeah. shirtless women too. If like. Perfect. No, That's wait, premium. If we're that not, is the premium. If we're not on uh, Twitch. Because female nipples are way more offensive than male nipples. It's you know what? I'm going to disagree with that. <laughs> well, I, I think for, they're great. I, I mean, I agree, but they're offensive. <laughs> they're great, but offensive. As you, for as, some reason. As we can tell, because Twitch won't let yeah. female nipples be seen. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Twitch morality. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Gavin I says the whole world morality. But Gavin says Night's nice Hall OnlyFans, and I would just say there are a couple of those. You can find them. <laughs> <laughs> you can find them. We don't need to make our own OnlyFans. Our own people are making. <laughs> like, we don't need a group OnlyFans. Or maybe we do. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know how porn works. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know how all that, that stuff works. Also, Joe Fon knows awesome it's in like though. everything he does, and he was like. Bro, why don't you have an OnlyFans? I was like, I don't know. He was like, you should totally do that. You'd make lots of money. I was like, I don't, okay. I mean, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, you should listen to him. Joe is usually right. <laughs> Joe's always right. Yeah. Also, he's like, he came in uh, and trained with us tonight doing some grappling. And he... I don't know why still, but he always surprises me. His movement is so, like, Fast so good. He's and so, explosive. He's so explosive. And he's a great, like, every time I watch him, like, duels, like, sword fight, I'm like, man, he's, his movement is so good. 
Yeah. And then he was at the executioner's headsman practice with us. And I watched the videos and he's like running around, like knocking people down. I was like, he, he's so unassuming, but like, he's just a solid fighter. Like it's, yeah. it's crazy. So props to Joe, even though he's not fighting or not watching. <laughs> you should watch Joe. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Joe's good. Um, yeah, the but uh, like the the real like the thing the thing with Joe is because his cardio is so not good. Like it's easy to forget that he like actually has like, um, like like he is athletic and also like his flaws like are very exploitable. So like sometimes it's like oh right, man, right. you're super not good, and then like, um, you know. Then he does, and you're like, "Oh wait, holy fuck! How did you do that?" It's it's very, it's, you know, just weird. It's weird yeah, fight. I like. I'm with you, Joe, on the cardio though. My cardio sucks, also. Obviously, we just witnessed it. Yeah. Uh, your wife is asking why you don't have an OnlyFans. Julie is saying, "No, you've managed to avoid the lure of OnlyFans." And I'm just asking Julie why. Like, you support my Patreon, you should support other people's sex work. I'm just saying. Like, even if you don't watch it, like if you know people and they're on it, fucking support them, right? I support people who I don't even look at their fucking. That's not true. I look at their fucking. That's yeah. that was a, that was a I, lot. I look at it, yeah, but not very often. Like, just, it's more like every once in a while. I'm like, I wonder what they put up. Oh yeah, that's cool. Like, <laughs> I don't actually use it as porn. It's more like a. I oh, wonder what they're up to. Um, like, I pre- I appreciate that art. Yeah, like for real. It's the same way. Like, I support people on Patreon who like I don't even look at the shit they do. And like that's that's how I do on fucking OnlyFans. I bought, you know, I like I'm just like yeah, fuck, I can throw out ten bucks to support you in your lifestyle. Fucking get it, girl, or or boy, <laughs> or neither, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. And then other people are talking about uh, Joe being dope, which he is. Yeah, yeah. Everybody should talk about that. Joe yeah, awesome. Joe is dope. Joe's good stuff. All right. And he's like the wicked nicest guy. He's yeah. the fucking nicest dude. He's the nicest perv, too. Right? Right? Like, oh. <laughs> dude is so pervy, but, like, it's so nice. Like, it's it's wholesome the way he's pervy. It's wholesome pervy. <laughs> I'll tell you, like, this super pervy story that's from someone else would be, like, creepy, and you'd feel like, oh. And from Joe, you're like, aw, Joe. Like so, that's nice. Yeah, it's <laughs> such a nice guy. <laughs> All right. Um, it's eleven o'clock. Where are we at? We You're watched. Done? We watched our fights. We can watch another fight. Do you want to watch another fight? I, usually, I don't care. I usually go to eleven thirty. So like, we could talk yeah. about the drama from the weekend, but I don't really want to. Nah, I'd, I'd like to ignore that. <laughs> Do you want to watch the Dustin Bryan fight that I was watching? Yeah, yeah we're we were back. talking about like how uh, how like, much I was I I judged that fight and like <laughs> yeah I, I want to hear your judging on this. All right, I cool. was yeah. All right, we're st- I'm starting the party. I'm gonna send we're this out to you. On that. It was super. <laughs> so I I I was it being like right. I just got super hyped about that fight. I don't know how you couldn't. But like for real, I was like I was like off my seat. Like Chris, screaming. it was so fun. Have a good bed, sleep. Um, thanks for joining us, Chris. Um, yo, so this fight, like, not to like be shitty, but I sent you the link, by the way. Um, not to be shitty about it, but like this fight, you like you could tell was like uh, like fans wise was the new hall versus the old hall. Like there was a distinct group of mother of people v- v- loudly rooting for Dustin and a distinct group loudly vo- voting for Bri- uh, rooting for Brian, and it was very clearly broken along like when you came to the hall, <laughs> um, which was interesting uh, seeing that happen. I'm coming back. Yes. What are you drinking? Heineken Light. Heineken? This is bullshit. I'm I'll tell you what. Hell or care. high watermelon? It's actually really good. You should care. 
You should care what you put in your body. It's I important. Do. 90 calories, son. <laughs> um, all right, you win. All right, so let's watch this thing. Let's start. start roll back a little bit. We gotta. We gotta We're, see this in all its glory. It's at the. It's at the start. Huh? It's at the start of the fight. Oh. There it's you right go. Right here. Um. Right here. We missed the first engagement. We got. No, to see we that. didn't. No, we didn't. <sighs> You want to watch them walking in from the fucking... No, 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 no. I mean, yeah. Look, look at Brian. Look at him. Missing his freaking nasal. <laughs> Yours fell off. Oh. I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> Just because I don't know how to weld. Shut up. <laughs> Mikey has offered to teach you. Why aren't you taking yeah. up on that? I don't know. Because he lives in Maine. Oh, man. My playback speed's at 5%. What's going on here? Yeah, you keep playing the same thing over and over. Alright, cool. We're in the fight now. We're about to get we're about to get there to we it. Go. We're about to get to it. Um This fight was so, so fucking good. So yeah, this was this was great. Dustin's a little more uh sword savvy, I think, as far as like shot placement and everything like else like that. Um as far as background and everything. Brian's just a beast, like never gets tired. Obviously probably anybody that's watching this stream knows that. Um, but also he just swings for the fences every time. Oh but shit. If he connects, it's going to hurt. Oh yeah. Alex just joined in the fight. What's up, Alex? Yeah. No fucking also Brian's. So this is the thing. Brian was just doing basic shit, but doing it well. Like nothing like, not like perfect, right? His basics aren't fucking perfect, but they're good. Right? Like he's all like what right from the beginning, right? He's always moving. And he's always in perfect stance. He's in stance. Yeah, he's, he's in stance. He's got the guard. It's not a perfect guard. He's not doing head movement, but he is moving. He's always staying a little on his toes, and he's always in guard, right? Dustin, we will see, will pause. You'll see his, him drop his shield. But when he does move, right, he drops his, his guard right there. He does move. He's actually using, like, slightly better technical footwork. But he's also dropping his guard and shit. And, like, Brian's like, nope, I'm just always ready. I'm just yeah, so I ready. think uh, up to this point, I think Dustin was probably beating him on points, except then that happened. Yeah. Super great punch, and then yeah, lands it. Lands a nice just, kick. Yeah, Brian's physicality is crazy too. Yeah, D Dustin definitely starts up, and I think he's landed more shots so far. Like any, he, he, he definitely blocks that. Um, by the way, I love that fucking that shot he has where he like comes inside of your shield and throws that vertical shot. Oh yeah. Like I can I throw that as like and make it not obvious what I'm doing. I don't know how he can make it and just like, oh yeah, I landed it. Um, that was a pretty even exchange right there. So yeah, is this where Dustin goes to the throw? I think it yeah. is. Yep, right here. But he and tries, then... he tries and tries and tries. And then Brian just spins out of it and says, nope. Nope. I, I spent, like, like, five minutes breaking down this throw waiting for you. <laughs> like, play it back. Cause, yeah. Well, the thing is, that night, I went home and watched this. And I was like, I I don't know. I, I can't figure it out. You can't figure except it out? That, All right, watch this. All right, we'll, we'll go through. We're except, gonna do through. Except that... Dustin tried too hard for it. Exactly. So here's here's what happens, right? So Dustin has this underhook. I, you know, for the people who are already here, I'm sorry you're gonna hear it again. For everyone who's new, um, Dustin has this underhook, and like notice how he has this, uh, how his shield is over his head. He's got Brian in terrible position, and as Brian comes up, I think he's thinking I still have that good dominant position, but he doesn't. Right? Look, right here, Brian's already got back. His, his shoulders are over his thighs. His feet aren't quite under him, but he's pretty balanced. And he's leaning forward, which normally, which might not be good for another throw, but against uh, the basic bitch throw, which this is, right, it's perfect, right? Because So Dustin's trying to step forward, and he's already... He, and he has to drive Brian back. But Brian's already pushing in. He's already off-balancing Dustin on this shoulder. And... And even though Dustin's feet are in the right place, his body isn't going to be able to move uh, Brian's upper body. And, right, you have to get that Kazushi, right? You have to off-balance him. You have to bring him towards this back rail over here, and he's not going to be able to do it. I wish this whole live was recorded. 
This live is recording, <laughs> I think. You talking about this? Daniel, you talking about this right now? This is recorded. I'm gonna this shit stays up. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about this? We're watching? I whatever. Um And so he pushes and he's not gonna get through. And then Brian's able to just base out and right here he's got Dustin over his over his base. And that's because he stepped for that, that's where that foot needs to come back to. Right? You can't right. bring that foot back. And Brian is like completely planted right there. Mm-hmm. And then he just continues that rotation. Yep. And just And I will say goes. I was noticing this as this happens. Um Dustin, like if we were allowed to touch the ground, Dustin could probably have dropped his shield and just stood back up. But because we're not, he has to like try to fight back up. Um Yeah, this review is recorded, D- Danielle. Daniel, sorry. Fucking I can't read can't fucking read it, dude, again. Um, this this shit's recorded. Uh, it stays on my Twitch, and eventually I post it to my YouTube when I remember. I should post <laughs> all these to my YouTube. Like, I should just mass post them tomorrow. I'm not going to do it, but I should. Um. Also, we'll go to the importance of uh, uh, corner men here. Uh, didn't seem to help. Anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, the importance <laughs> of <laughs> listening to Paul talk to Brian, and Brian's been like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, at, but, but, when Paul was like, what was your plan? And like, do you have a corner man? And Brian's like, a plan? Corner man? I'm just going to fucking... <laughs> I'm just going to go thrash this kid. Yeah. Uh, life gets Apparently. in the way. <laughs> life gets in the way, Daniel. Yeah, I understand. Life gets in the way. It sucks. Fuck life. Fuck life. Brutal. Brutal, son. Right, here we go. Round two. Round two. Let's go. Dude, this fight is... I'm so hype about this fight. So, pause it for just one sec. Sorry. Mm-hmm. So, when Brian got that reversal to throw, like, I'm I'm sitting on my judge's little stool over there, trying to be all judgy. I'm like, he got that reversal, and I jumped up out of my seat, and I, I like, yelled, that was spicy. So... Which it was. I was super hyped on this whole Question, fight. were you guys talking between rounds about the fight? Only after... Those? Only, no, only after we recorded. Yeah, but like about the fight that happened though, still. Mm, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Is that not cool? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I remember us talking back when I was there that we were trying to make it so that we didn't talk about the re- the fight that was happening now at all because like if you see something in this round um and I see something different in this round but then we talk about it then I'm going to be looking for the thing that you saw and and like right. what you're looking for shouldn't change what I'm looking for round to round maybe Correct. to fight to fight but not round to round not round to round no um, I, I agree with that I think that's something we should, as we're getting back into it, yeah, I think we need to tighten up on the, on yeah. the, you know, judging regulations and how we do things for that reason, but, yeah. All right. Carry on. Let's get into it. Oh, I love that fucking offside, uh, that snap offside, though, that Dustin throws. Yeah. It's such a nice shot. So here's Brian. Uh, oh, they're pretty in even guard, pretty much. Yeah. I was going to say Brian's a little bit higher, but they were pretty even there. You know, Dustin had, does have the tendency to, like, throw a shot and then drop his guard. Yep. But Brian throws that nice kick right down the center. Puts him on the rail. And he did get rotated out, but then he's the one landing knees. So that knee from Dustin looked good. Those were – those two – both of those knees were good. And then Brian knee – And then he keeps doing those. Like, this is the difference is, like – Dustin is landing some stuff, and that was a nice throw. But like Brian is, Brian's constantly throwing. He's constantly throwing. Like Dustin's not throwing. Dustin th- Brian throws. That, that was a nice, that just was nice little throw. simple throw. Yeah. Yeah. Just like <laughs> dragged him around, put the leg out there, got the takedown, nice and then Brian throw. picks up his sword. It gives it to him because he's so nice. And then afterwards was like, "Dude, let's go get ice cream," because that's that's what Brian's <laughs> about. Right, a- only after he fights so that he can go get ice cream. That's after he reason. beats the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah. 
So, and you can just tell how much power Brian puts into those shots. Like his shoulder just comes down and ugh, brutal. And even those little, that offside flick, he just landed like three, four, five shots there. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Look, he's no, still no, 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 throwing. Unanswered. He's still throwing. He never stops throwing. Yes, Alex, you can grab uh, you can grab the belt. You can grab anything that they have on them, pretty much. As long as you are not actively trying to remove their armor, you can grab it. Where does he get ice cream nearby? I do love those trips, Daniel. I do. Uh, I don't know where he gets ice cream. Probably his tattoo. He, like, spawns it out of it. Like, he's magic. <laughs> yeah, he has he has a tattoo of an ice cream cone on his back, right? So we asked him, Ryan, why do you have an ice cream cone on your back? And he was like, bro, everybody likes ice cream. D- I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't argue with that logic. Daniel, if you're trying to troll me about when the French Ninja tripped me super hard, that was IMCF 2017, not Botten. But yes. He beat the. Sh- he tripped me three times in a row, like a little bitch. <laughs> is that when you is that when you like face planted in the dirt? Yep. <laughs> I'm still so mad, dude. Paul refuses to watch that fight with me. He's like, no, nah, I'll never watch that again. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. So it's hard to tell from the angle on the on the bottom left, but. Brian landed a nice shield punch, like strike, strike, shield punch. Another we, one. We can look at the the top. We can look at yeah. I just top. keep watching that bottom one. Let's look at the top. All right, we're gonna look at the top nice. for this as it starts. Yep. So I'm watching. It just rocks him. Nice. Yeah. Like oh, two. there's two, two. three. And it just pushes him up against the rail. Still landing shots. And, like, Dustin's still throwing, but, like, look at this. He threw one, he threw two that time, and Brian throws two and Brian, steps in and pushes him yeah. on the rail and then throws and then throws. Brian throws the shield punch, keeps the shield in his face, and throws three more shots. Like He's just staying. And then throwing shots right there. He's just, They're just pushing each other around, and he's just, Brian's he's, just continually throwing shots. Brian's continuing to stay active, right? Knee. And Dustin gets free, he lands some shots. Like, Dustin's still in the fight. Dustin never oh, is yeah. not in the fight. But again, Brian takes the knee. He goes for the throw. Throw doesn't work. I'm going to knee you now, right? Like, how often do we go for a throw and then we stop? And there it is. What, what did he even get on this? Oh, Dustin goes for the knee as... Do you, oh yeah, Brian even senses it too. Look, it's it's a reaction. He blocks the knee. Right. So so Dustin goes to throw the knee. Brian, Brian turns. Brings his leg up. Yeah, turns, gets his leg up to block it, and then goes nop and just rotates him down. <sighs> Fucking that's nice. Some, that's some like like body sense mechanics that like you feel the knee coming, you throw the knee up, and then you just automatically turn the opposite direction. From a dude yeah. who hasn't been training his fucking, uh, he hasn't been training his grappling. I mean, I wouldn't either, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if I was just dropping dudes, like, I'd be like, yeah, I got this, son. Dude, he's, he said, like, I'm, I think I'm going to fight as much as, uh, like I used to, but I'm just not going to train anymore. I'm like, works for me, buddy. You're still... <laughs> You're still probably, and at this point, he's probably the second best fighter at the hall. Like, I think Cat's technically better, but, like, I'm not even sure that's true. I'm not even I, sure Cat's actually better, especially in chapter matches. In a chapter match, I think I want Brian over Cat. Uh, I, I definitely, uh, yes, I agree with that because Brian's going to be in more rounds. Yeah. Like, he, Cat's going to go out there and you're going to win the rounds that Cat's in. Yeah. Yeah. But, there's going to be less of them. In in the and most likely, you're going to win the brown rounds that Brian's in. Yeah, in he's the, going to be out there more. In, in when we're talking about uh, you know, your standard IMCF for botting best two out of three, I think Cat is better. But I think you want Cat, yeah. But I mean, but yeah, they're like one and two, one and two. Yeah, and they're both dope duelists too. Like what the fuck, <laughs> right? Like. Like yeah, they can, I I, though, I, think like I don't one... know. I don't know that Brian can can duel, uh, polearm. 
But Cat can do longsword, polearm, and uh, sword and shield Shield's decently like and all. Player. And he's really good in sword and shield. Brian yeah. can do pretty top end sword and shield. Not he's not like great, but he's pretty top end. And same with longsword. Like I bet Brian beats Cat longsword. I don't uh, know that. I think based on volume of shots fired, yes. I think Brian beats me <laughs> longsword right now. Honestly, like he's looking good. And like polearm, I don't know, but like they're both dope ass duelists. Like pff, it's unfair. It's unfair. <laughs> it's just not fair. And they're on my team. It is unfair. <laughs> it is unfair. It's totally unfair. I mean, obviously, like one thing makes you good at the other. You know, it's like fighting makes you good at fighting. Fighting makes you um, good about fighting, but like dueling and bow hurt are so different. You can already that, see how tired Dustin is. His shots have a lot less pepper on them. Brian's looks just as clean. And, like, he's still... Right, look at this. He's still doing the... I'm still going to step. I'm still going to move. I'm still in guard. No yeah, matter what, he's, he's still staying to his basics. His feet are in the proper position for footwork. Like, and he's he's constantly stepping to the side. He's always got his guard up. <laughs> yeah. And he's always... I love that he's always throwing on the exit. That though, that was a nice Russian train by Dustin here. This whole sequence by Dustin to roll out right here, right? So he's gonna roll out in one, two. There it is. So he rolls out, pushes him on the rail, and then does the Russian train. Just bop, bop, bop. Yeah, it's a very some... nice sequence. But yeah, he isn't able to keep it up, and he's not able to get out. And Brian just goes back into it. Uh, that's just a super messy like grab the head try to throw that didn't work but then he just held on and was like no no i'm gonna punch you for a while yeah Yeah. and he's landing those those low uh i mean there's not much on those he's not able to get like a good hook there which i didn't even think was possible so i watched jason do it yeah but then he like he's like i'm not getting anything and then there's four knees right there yeah and then another Right, and and this is messy a, throw. Attack. It's a it's a messy throw, but this is this is that high level shit. Throws right afterwards, right? right? And like it's not super high level, but like for where we are at the U.S., so many people do not throw. Will not be like, oh, I fucked it up, and let, and make sure that they're throwing, especially three rounds in, like just to be like, oh no, that didn't work. Let me keep pushing. Let me keep working. It's just he's still working. He's still looking pretty sharp on his shots, right? Like I thought, that was body yeah, that in that. There's body hard. in that. There's body in that. shot, yeah. Push him up, yeah. I want to watch Brett versus Brian because Brett is a way better technical fighter, and I think he's a better technical fighter than Dustin. Um, like, but not as physical as Dustin. Right. So I want to see how that goes. Okay, so I want to see Brett versus Brian. I think Brett's going to win, but I, I feel like it'll be a good fight. I feel like it'd be a really good fight. Um, yeah, I think I think that would force Brian into more of a defensive posture because I think he would – I think Brett would get a couple, like, nice technical throws, and then Brian would immediately, like, respond to that in a way of, like – Okay, I got to be a little more defensive now, which is generally not how we see him fight because no. generally the stuff he does works, and he's can pretty much walk around most throws that are tried on him. Um, but right, and you saw yeah. Dustin get a throw off, and it didn't stop Brian from putting the pressure forward. Right. Right. Uh, I think if it, if it happens in a different way, though, or that, multiple that times, that felt like it. Yeah, multiple times. And that throw felt like it was uh, taking advantage of a certain situation that was like, okay, I was going that way anyway. This is That a, was a nice punch right there. So this right. is one of the things I was talking about when I was first breaking it down. I was like, so Brian was simple and kept to the basics and just kept landing. But Dustin always, like, never really felt out of it, particularly because he was able to do and land tricky shit. And right here, it's that duck, right? So he's like... Boop, and it doesn't – it should be obvious what he's doing because he's clearly loading up, but it doesn't read that way when you see it happen. You just see him fall away, and you're like, what's happening? 
Oh, I'm getting punched in the face. That's my uh, specialty, getting punched in the face, by the way. You should have fought Dustin. In case we didn't in case we didn't go over that. But then Brian's just like, okay, and lands two more blows to answer. Then gets the knee. And admittedly, Dustin gets a knee, but And then gets the throw. I love this throw too, because there's nothing technical about it. Brian's just like, no, I just wrap around you and I'm just gonna rip you down. But <laughs> again, it was it was the if you look in the top right screen when you play that back, it was the knee. It was it was Dustin's knee that started that whole thing. Outside yeah. knee, Brian steps in between his legs and then yeah. just rips him around. Yeah. But like that's also just Brian being very strong, very secure base, got to good position, kind of just pulled him in and lifted him up. Um yeah. Daniel, uh it may look hard to judge on the camera. It was not hard to judge the the day of. Like, it was pretty clear that Brian just fucking dominated. <laughs> At least yeah. that was what I walked away with. That's what the judges walked away with. I don't know anyone who didn't think that Brian won at least four rounds. Also, yeah. And the, the thing is, in the end of a bunch of these rounds, like, there's Brian throwing shots with Dustin with his shield by his side. And one of the things that's uh, important to to give into effect is while it's it is all about who's dominating, who's putting pressure, it's also about who's landing more blows and uh, landing specifically more sword blows. And I think Brian consistently made sure that he was landing versus after the first round. I think Dustin was a little bit less focused on making sure he um landed sword blows i remember seeing like dustin would like do something awesome and then immediately after brian would be like bing 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 like when it happened that was my my takeaway on the day of i think that's it i mean it was the five five rounds that was it yeah um yeah and and also you see i a lot i mean more than that last round because they were tired but brian controlling the ring like they get into it, and Brian slams Dustin into the rail. Yeah. Holds him there. Gets some shots. For the and most, then, yeah. For yeah. the most part, Brian was definitely the one pushing. Dustin would roll out occasionally, but Brian was. We also, we in in addition to ring control, it's also aggression. Brian was usually the one moving forward, and usually the one pushing him up against the rail. And so look, he's so happy. Both. Look at him. Yeah, and we also get points for smiles. Yeah. And if you have tattoos of ice cream, then you get more points. Um, and you can, you can, I think you can tell who won this by if you look at Dustin. Looks like he got run over by a freight train, and Brian's like happy. <laughs> like that should tell you who won. Dustin's like, what happened? Yeah. I'm tired. He's thinking, he's thinking about ice cream. He's like, oh, now I can get ice cream. Like I did the thing. He didn't get ice cream, but he did go and eat the fucking uh, rotisserie chicken that he bought earlier in the he day. He did eat a, a f- entire chicken, like yeah, a chicken. You know, he gave me some of it. Oh, he was very generous. That's rude. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, Brian looks like he took a brisk jog. Wolf. Yeah, agreed, Alex. <laughs> that's like he. That's how Brian looks after a chapter match. Um, no, not every chapter match. So that's true. Um, I've dude, seen, I've seen angry Brian. Angry Brian was not related Oof. to that. That was uh his fucking gauntlets fell apart uh after he just paid eight hundred dollars for him. But that I mean, was but I'm pretty sure that was the uh the match for the end of the season between us and you. A which was a fucking grinder. that match was rough. And that was like I was just coming back from some some injury, so I didn't fight the first half of it. Ugh. That was a wild. We should fight. review that. We should review that. Oh, brutal. We, we'll get someone else on to review that too. We'll do a three person review. Yeah, um, let's do that. We'll do it in person too, because I'm yes. fucking. I'm done with this shit. I want to do. I want to do it at the hall. Honestly, I feel like they have a good backdrop. I just gotta like talk to like Cat or Jay or setting it up. Let's do it. Honestly, I mean, like the night. Maybe I'll be like, hey, can I do a nights hall like Friday or Thursday stream or some shit. You know, because like the night we should fucking be pit, we should be pushing that fucking Twitch. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Like that's why I started. Like this was originally supposed to be nights all shit, and I just didn't have access to it. So it's like I'll just do my own. 
Remember we were talking about doing this and watching the night fights on this shit. And they were like... Yes! We did that, like, once. Yeah, and then, then then Jay was like, that's such a good idea, and then never, like, gave us access again. <laughs> yeah. To right. be fair, a pandemic hit pretty soon after that, so it might not actually have been his fault for once. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, let's 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 do that. Let's set up some uh, in-person will. shit and do it. Daniel, uh, you were saying that triathlon's missing buckler. I'm about it. What I want to see for triathlons is you do you start with sword and shield, you move to long sword, and you end with pole arm. That's your that's your fucking ender. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, way, I like but it. here's why: so that like. Over the course of the thing, you can start to switch out your armor so that by the time you get to pole arm, you may have like actual melee armor because you'll fucking. Know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, whew. I also really want to try. I should run an event. I'm like, I'll never do this, but I really want to run an event where we actually do those rules I came up with for fucking duels between different weapons and where we actually yeah. score it. As opposed to let's, just doing it. Yeah, let's let's uh about like let's set up just a fight, um, with just just you know just a single fight with with all the refs and when how we'll video uh we'll get together on it and we'll Ooh. videotape it all right. and then and then we'll um I'm in let's do it and then we'll then we'll just talk about it on here and then see what people Perfect. think about that'd it. that'd be dope you should do that yeah. That All right, we'll get together on it. All right, cool. Maybe that'll happen. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, we didn't do trash talk today. I forgot to trash things. But we I'm... trash talked ourselves. We did. That was our trash. That's what we fucking shout on today. Yeah. Uh, we did Bohurt News. I don't have a training uh, thing today. My training drill is just do it. Get out there and do it. Um, wrestle somebody. Wrestle somebody. Wrestle Brandon. Yeah, wrestle Joe. He, particularly when he's <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Um, last thing, let's do, let's actually do, uh, I trash talk this fucking heat. Gavin, you are right. Fuck this shit. I Whoa. live in New England. Why is it, is the air supposed to hurt my face? I'm not supposed to be sweating this goddamn much. Bro, I lived in South Carolina for 13 years. I don't live there anymore because of this shit. <laughs> you know, I mean, Nova Scotia looks pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm saying, saying like, we're fucking, we're going north you know what? No, I'm actually still going to go south, but I'm going to go west. I'm going to go live in fucking uh, Albuquerque, a mile up with no fucking humidity. That sounds perfect. Yeah, go live in the desert, and then you'll look like you're fucking 75 when you're 30. Do I already look homeless? Who gives a shit how old I look? <laughs> <laughs> but you want to look old and homeless, right? I think you always look old when you're homeless. And young and homeless is like chic, right? Shabby chic or something. Yeah, I don't think I'm I'm hipster homeless. I think I'm just homeless. Oh, I know. I'm just straight homeless. Um, we are gonna do a recommendation though, so I'm gonna put you on the spot, Brandon. Recommend something, something dope. I can go first. Something, if you really want. Yeah, you go first. I don't know. I, I have been reading uh, a book that's been recommended to me by a bunch of people. Kashil's Dart. Fuck, I should have the, I'm going to look up the, the author's name. I don't remember. Shield Bards. Uh, Jacqueline Carey. Um, so that was... Uh, this is a dope book. Uh, it took me a while to get into it. It's a little weird in that, like, the main character is a slave prostitute for, like, the first, like, 100 pages. So uh, you got to, like... You gotta get through that. But, like, if you think about it, if you stop, like, if you get rid of our, like, Puritan mindset where, like, sex is bad, and you just think about it in the same way you could read about, like, a young squire being essentially slave to a, to a lord and being forced to fight in wars, it's not really that different. Um, like, she's exploited, yes. She doesn't really get choices, yes. But that's not different than your hero with a sword. Her her just power is happens to be her sexuality so like provided you can get through that which was very hard for me as it was a real challenge um it's dope after the first hundred pages first hundred pages are a slog get through it and then it becomes so, awesome yeah uh 
Liz recommended me to check out these books. So it, there's a there's basically like there's like a trilogy. Mm -hmm. uh, there might be more. I don't know. But there is, I got there's a, a trilogy plus like other stuff. Yeah. So I got it on audiobook because um, I'm super dyslexic and reading is a pain in the ass for me. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Um. Great. Um. Yeah. Everything that Ringo said. These books are amazing. Like the story's amazing. The characters. Um, character I, development, everything. Political, yeah, that, political drama. Yeah. There's it's cool political action. Drama, it's action. It's it's medieval warfare. It's Viking warfare. It's, it's if you're it's into romance, spies, it's got romance. It's, like, it's got yeah. everything. It's got it's. Yeah. It really is. And like the prose is very archaic to start, but like if you're reading it, it probably takes a little while to get used to. It took me a little bit to get used to it. Listening, you probably are used to it right away. Um, yeah, it, audio, the audiobooks are great. Um, the, the narration is super. All right, cool. Yeah. So Audible, get the book. Um, use the the link code Trash Night Ringo, which will get you nothing because I haven't got sponsored by them yet <laughs> and probably never will be. Um, Brandon, recommend something. Yeah, mine's like super bro and like Do it. not even as cool as that. And Ringo's gonna hate it. Oh no, I do hate it. I do fucking hate it. You're right. Uh... So, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. I hate Heineken. Heineken sucks. Uh, Heineken light. Um, I've been trying to like cut a little bit. You know, I'm not totally giving up on the beers. Um, I cut back a lot. I should totally give up, but I'm. I'm not gonna. You can't do it. You um, can't do that. But it actually, for a light beer, it's 90 calories. It actually tastes real good, and it comes in like cool tall cans, so you can look like a hipster, like drinking Red Bull and shit. That's important. So, which is important to me. Yeah. You know? Being a hipster is super important. Yeah, but um, and I, I, that's sitting right in front of me, which is why I said it. So, there yeah. you go. All right, that's uh, that's our recommendations. That's where we're at. Uh, wait, are you cutting? Are you gonna do flanker wars? Are you gonna try to get down to one eighty? That. <laughs> Hell no, dude. I, I'll cut to one eighty seven because that's like thirteen pounds from where I was. But I ain't going to one eighty, dude. No. Fuck it. If you can drop thirteen, you can't drop that next seven. I'm not saying I can't. I'm just saying I don't want to. I don't want to either. But like, fuck it. I like, like I really like fighting melee at 200 pounds. Dude, me too. I gotta get, I gotta bulk up again, dude. I can't wait to flag wars to be over. I can't wait for this fight to, with Alex to be over. I'm gonna bulk back up. I'm gonna do it. But like right now, those are my two things. I gotta get them done. The Alex fight's probably gonna get delayed, which is fucking shitty. It's probably not actually gonna be a Valhalla. So oh, we're no. probably gonna, yeah, we're probably gonna have to put together a, a different fucking event for that, which sucks. Yeah, but I'm like, supposed to be fighting somebody at that. So yeah, the the border yeah. may be open, but like a lot of people don't know that they're gonna have second shots by then, um, yeah. and like none of them are really getting to train yet. So we'll yeah, see. Too much uncertainty. Yeah, we're I'm not we're not a hundred percent calling it not for Valhalla, but it's looking like we're gonna have to push it. We will also, we will make that decision before the end of the month. I, I've heard that like. If anybody from Canada is on here, I've heard that Canada is kind of sucking with their vaccine rollouts. They were. They're a lot better, though. They, they fucking... Oh, okay. At least that's what Alex is telling me. I'm, I'm fucking trusting a Jew, which as a Jew is a good idea, but as a non-Jew is probably not a good idea. It's so, like, don't trust me, but I'm going to trust, gonna trust you, him. No, you shouldn't. You're non-Jew. Oh, man. We're, ch we're the chosen people, so like we don't care about anyone else. Oh. We, we just don't. Like, it's all making sense now. Your like whole ethos makes way more sense. Now. <laughs> Man, I'm a little drunk. I'm starting to get political. This is not good. Right. <laughs> um. Yeah, but we're uh like uh they they were sucking. They're getting a little bit better, and it looks like their second shots are getting moved up. So there's still a chance, but we'll probably we'll probably we're gonna make the call. I think we're gonna make an official call. July first, whether we're going forward with Valhalla or not. So there's time for uh Kat and them to find something else if we don't. Um but we'll see. We'll see where that goes. 
Sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, that's it. Thanks, everybody. Is this is two, two on Titty Tuesday. Titty Tuesday. It's Brandon. I'll flex too. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's not it's not right. nearly as impressive. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, Julie, for filling up my cup. Uh, there was someone else who threw into that. I'm going to try to go back and figure out who the fuck it was. Why am I, like, so bad at memory? Probably because I drank a lot. It's probably and bad. you get punched in the face a lot. Red Ram. Thank you, Red Ram, for filling my cup. Y'all are the fucking shit. I should do something for you. I don't know what. But, uh, yeah. Oh, Gavin, I'm going to hit you up for fucking emojis. Good night, Valis. Good night, Gavin. Good night, Julie. Good night, Liz. Good night, Wolf. Good Alex. Daniel. Whoever else is here. Peace. We out.